Welcome back to Afternoon Live. The cooler wet weather means kids are spending more time inside. So our next guest has come up with some fun fall craft ideas to keep their minds and hands busy. We welcome children's art educator, Lisa Archangel. Thanks for having me. You have brought such fun and beautiful yeah. things for us. Several so ideas for crafting perfect. kiddos. Perfect. So <laughs> we send them outside and we put them on a little nature walk and they go and pick up natural leaves. Cool. And then we get to bring them inside and then we get to decorate How them. How fun are those? And so paint pens are the best and if you have a little little one that might not necessarily be able to do this detailed work although we've got some scribble scrabbles yeah. here I would get them painting on some branches and what then you put idea. it together for a beautiful centerpiece and we also added little uh, thank you leaves of what we're thankful for what so a that idea. is a fun one and well, that you can totally accomplish with like I've got three-year-old and seven-year-old yes. they can both do different versions of that of the same thing okay and with that three-year-old we can use you know old tins that mm -hmm. you have trays and then go ahead and just get them cutting with leaves and practice cool. cutting and then your older ones we use the leaves as collage oh. and we made a beautiful uh, fox here that is so and you cute. just Can use you glue see, yeah, the little yep. fox. Oh, and as soon so as you use uh, old recyclable oh, items okay. it turns into what we like to call happy trash that yeah I love that and old jars we went ahead and made a little mushroom and a little snail in there so and fun these are just fun things using nature and do you just use that kind of Mod Podge glue yep. stuff for that mm -hmm. okay yeah all right moving on I love this one because it's watercolor but let's say you don't Ooh. have watercolor you can always use food coloring. Okay. And another great one is how many dead markers do you have a at home? A thousand million Dried trillion, up. yes. Well, and I never know which one is do. dead. Yes. So <laughs> you put them save, back. <laughs> you save them and okay. you put them in water and it instantly turns into watercolor. What a great idea. Yeah, and so we take coffee filters and we have fun with that. Your little one can keep going. And then I noticed after we put paper towels here, those oh. turned out equally as beautiful. That is so fun. Yep, and then we trace the leaves. And okay. then we made this beautiful garland. Oh my gosh! Out of can them. You, can we hold then, up both sides yeah. so we can see the whole thing? How adorable and we did the is little that? Hand prints. <gasps> Aren't those so fun? I have to do this now that yes. I'm putting my Halloween spooky stuff away. This yeah. can be my new fall garland with it my is kiddos. So fun! It's something you can keep doing every year and make keeping the hand prints as they go. What a great idea! Yeah. Okay, what's our final? We have to do something together here. Yes. Well, another thing is using recyclable boxes and paper towel rolls to create a little fall it's scene. So cute so this is a cracker box that mm -hmm. you've taken the inside of and made oh my gosh look at those little yep. characters and then we go ahead and use clay okay. air dry clay is the best thing to use okay um every kid can use it you don't have to put it in the oven and and do Great. anything of that sort so you just let it air dry okay so today you and i are going to make a little baby bird okay to go right up in there beautiful all right so you go ahead and take your clay once they learn the basic shapes of mm -hmm. circles and 3d shapes they can pretty much make anything okay we're going to make the body of the little bird so okay. we're going to pinch and pull Ooh. pinch and pull and then instantly we kind of have our little oh, tiny yours bottom. looks really good. No, you're Mine's doing like good. a Twitter bird. <laughs> you got it. You're good. Pinch and pull. Okay, pinch and That's pull. That's the little base. Okay. Our body. Then we're going to take our little head. Okay. There's one for you. Same thing, getting them to learn to work the clay. And this is such great fine motor for all age kids. It is. And I always find these things therapeutic too. Oh, to yeah. Turn Even your brain for adults. off. And, yep. okay. and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pinch and pull pinch for the little pull. bee. Okay. Do that and right. run that around. Okay. And then just stick that right on top. Okay. And really, you don't need much. If it doesn't really stick, sometimes we use water, okay. but it pretty much stays yeah. and it dries that way. And then we'll do the little wings. Okay. Same thing. Two little round balls for okay. the wings. And then we'll smush them like a little Ooh. pancake. Okay. Pull it. Smush and pull. Smush and pull. It's a okay. lot of. Okay. And then you just put that right on one side like that. Oh my gosh, yours is so cute. You've no, done you're this doing before. Good. Okay. I, we've okay. done a lot yeah. of clay animals. Yeah. And I'm telling you, once you give the kids the clay, they really create the best They'll stuff. They'll come up They're with so their own creative. little creatures. Yes. Okay. And it's so fun. You can put googly eyes. Yeah. And then every scene can change out with the season. Can and you then guys look at see that. these teeny, teeny, tiny oh my little goodness. birdies? We did it. It's like a mama <laughs> and a baby. And we did that in under two minutes. So that's pretty good. Yes. You can pull this off. Yes. Thank you so yeah. much for showing me all these great ideas. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm making that garland with my kiddos. It's 
It's going to be fun. Thanks we'll for have, having me. Thank you so much. We'll have more information on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.